found myself out here in the Church Street shopping experience, which basically, well, what I'm experiencing is there's literally no place to shop. I mean, that used to be a save a lot, but they kept robbing the baloney out of there, so that's gone. There's an Ace Cash Express, checks, cash, loans, debit cards. That's the way to keep in debt. If, if you're not in debt with them, then right there, that's the family, Iris, Rebecca, and their son named Sam. And that's the dollar for the family till they burned it down. And then there's the gas station. My grandmother came here. They got her for $400. She hadn't been back. So I guess you want to be pretty, you can come over here. That, that's definitely a thing. So all that's downtown. That's where all the rich people, bureaucrats like me work at. Uh, all of this, all of this for, that's what we call the projects. Homes like these back here was the result of the federal government thinking back around about 1947, 1948, somewhere in there, when they were like, uh, have we, you know what we're doing with all these poor people? They built these row houses. This was supposed to be, well, I guess in 1951, they were they were semen stack houses, look like barracks that you probably put all your servicemen in. Look at there, there's a man on a bike. How are you, good sir? Good, good. He'd make the biking community feel so good about themselves. Uh, that's what I call a church. And it is also a Virginia historical landmark. History is right here. But right here at this corner, at Chapel and Holt, all, all of this used to be nothing but projects. Those communities we saw on the other side, all of them used to be right over here before the government decided they wanted to do something else. That is one of the major complaints everybody in Norfolk, whether it's historical, whether it's present day, whether it's people who are starting to sprout up into this idea of politics, all say the same thing. Norfolk has a tendency to just do stuff too damn fast. I never, I never, I never noticed that before. This right here is what some would call an extension of lake only. It's one of the main reasons why we don't allow two dogs to pee in the same spot in this town. Over there, it's one of the oldest uh, recreational facilities in Norfolk. It's still standing there because, uh, is that back door come open? Why is that back door swinging open like this? No, no. no. That's very tempting, but no, that, that could be problematic for us. Over there in the distance, you can see Scope maybe out there. That's that big dome right there. But these apartments up in here, this is supposed to be the response to what all, like tearing down all of this. They're like, we're going to put right over there and then over in there. Those supposed to be where we're putting people that we, you know, they're upgrades better than those little row house barracks that look like something that you would put POWs in in 1942. I, I just, they, they weren't that bad for gigantic cement blocks. <laughs> they, 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 it's, they, they cut off, they cut off Church Street. This, this, this right here is what is known as Finn Church Street. Finn's Church Street was an extension of Church Street, the home to black Norfolk in the early 1930s and 40s, what Tulsa was to black Wall Street, what Harlem was to New York, what down, was, what the, not a power line? It, uh, I just stepped on. You gotta cut off Church Street. That's the jail right there. Which is very interesting because it's literally was right outside of these people's homes. And many would argue that's that's what you call the justice system at work. Putting the jail right in front of them as a constant reminder. That's where you're going in 10 years, kid. I say that because that building right there used to be Juvie Hall. It's not anymore. It's probably gonna be some fancy apartments in five to 10 years. No, school board's still in there. School board next to the jail, next to the young people with the site of the jail. Constant reminder where you're gonna be in 10 years. And that right there is Popeyes, which used to be a bank, but now they made chicken and steal my keys. I lost my car keys in there 15 years ago. They swear I never, I, I, mm, you, I, I lost my car keys in there. You're not gonna convince me otherwise. And that right there, that way. This is the school that's named after one of the most influential African Americans to ever step in this town, P.B. Young. We should talk about him. Well, we found out where the fire department went. I knew, I knew you had these on the table. And I wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk about this. You did it on guys? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Because I'm doing a piece on uh, Mr. Uh, P.B. Young who started this, he, he didn't start it, but he bought it in. 
And uh, yeah, so I knew you had a copy of it, and I, yeah, this, I wanted. This is a, a deeper. We can get it. We get it fresh, out of the press every week. Uh, so you can pick it up every Thursday. For the whole week. And it comes right here. Right here. Oh, they deliver them to you. They deliver them right to our door. Oh, the uh, the uh, I think Miss Andrews wrote yes. it. Yeah, yes, Brenda Andrews. Yeah, Not her person, one of her. I wanted to come here to do that, and, and I wanted that. Hi, how are you? I just wanted to do that. That is that is a very, very, very good sign. It, it actually brings the place out a little bit more. Thank you. That's what I thought. Yeah. All the, and I always loved it. This chandelier. Let, let me not do that. What'd you say? This context. Yeah. It it kind of pops it. So you have that sign back there, and then now all the paintings and everything just just pops. Yes. You know, most folks are like, we're having this conversation and, and I still love to have that, but it's like trying to connect with a deeper side of black uh, reality more than just American black. Mm -hmm. It's like connecting with African black and, yes. and, and, and how it's two different ideas and two different concepts. It's just a beautiful thing. And I just love it every time I come here. And now I know I can get the Journal and Guide here, which is the actual African-American newspaper of this town. Absolutely. Right here at Pure Logos. Yeah, that is the, the whole, that's the very important aspect of the Pure Logos experience, the new Journal and Guide. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, because it, what you say, that ties the African with the African diaspora and African-American, ah. you know, culturally, you know, Historically, spiritually, you know the the output of the pure Lagos is not in a bubble. We are in the, within the African American context, so we need to report what else is going on within that family of creativity huh. in the African American experience. So the the New Zealand and Guide. It's part of Pure Lagos, oh, and I'm, it's free. We don't charge. Well, I'm glad I can come here to get it, right here on uh, Duke Street. I can just, Butte. Yes, sir. Why do I say Duke? It's Butte. Yeah, Duke is the next street next to Yeah.